Hello students, today we are going to study business studies for class 12th from part A, chapter 2, principles of management. As we have already started with the content, so it's in between that chapter, scientific management. Before starting this concept, we would like to just recall the previous content from this help of this mind map. This chapter, principles of management, is containing its meaning, its features and nature we have already discussed. Then the principles of management by Henry Fiol. Henry Fiol has already introduced 14 principles. This we have already discussed in the previous lectures. Now the sequence is for scientific management by F. W. Taylor. So with the help of this board, I am just going to explain who was F. W. Taylor, what is scientific management? So first of all, we should know about the person who introduced this science. F. W. Taylor was basically an American. He worked in one company in the America that is Midvale Steel Company as machinist. But he studied the science. He worked for those principles and introduce few techniques also which we will study further in the next lectures. He introduced scientific management at the shop floor. Shop floor means factories because he was machinist and working in the factories itself. So he faced the problems, he studied those problems and introduced one new science to management. For Understanding the meaning of scientific management, science is involved in management for completing the task, for solving the problems of management which includes employers as well as employees and he basically, Taylor was in favor of workers efficiency should be enhanced by introducing all these principles. So let's come up to the four basic principles introduced by F. W. Taylor. Uh, one more thing I would like to add that according to Taylor, scientific management means knowing exactly what you want men to do and seeing that they do it in the best and cheapest way. Best and cheapest can be taken out from science only. As everybody is familiar with the word science, science involves logical thinking, never involves trial and error methods. It always based on scientific analysis. That is why his first principle introduced by him was named as science, not rule of thumb. I have put this slash in between these two words because he was in favor of science and against of rule of thumb. It is not given in your textbook, but for understanding, if we divide these two words, we will be easily understanding the meaning of these science word. Science keyword is helpful to understand your paragraph. That keyword is scientific analysis. That involves investigations, collection of informations, and finally, logical decisions. Not rule of thumb. Rule of thumb is always used by those, those who don't believe in science. People, those who are trying, adopting trial and error method, not going for scientific preparations, they are always taking results very late and leading to poor efficiency. I hope that you have understood the first principle. Science should be there in management, not rule of thumb. Then he added one more version that was harmony, not discord. Harmony itself means peace. So I should add the word peace for understanding this particular principle. Peace in the organization comes when employer and employee 
both are joining their hands for development and growth of each other. In this case, the key word from this particular principle will be mental revolution. Revolution itself is a change in the outlook. That is, mind, thinking, thoughts can be changed from both the sides. And two sides are employer as well as employee. Employer should think for the benefit of the employees, should share his gains with them and employee should work for the organization achievement of goal with wholeheartedly and best effort he should put in increasing productions and profits. When peace is there, discord will automatically wipe out, it will not be there. Extension of this harmony is cooperation. When people are peaceful, satisfied, then there is a cooperation coming from both the sides. I should be replaced with V. Is magic mantra for this principle? Individualism is I. I should not be taken for the group. Always V is the part where we can work together. In this case, what employer is expected to do and what employee is expected to do. These two parts again comes, employer should invite the suggestions and he should welcome the employees and employees should not go for the unnecessary demands from the employers. After the cooperation, one important aspect of human in the organization is taken care of by Taylor. He said that each and every employee, each and every individual should be developed to his or her greatest efficiency. And this potential can be judged out by keywords. And these keywords are scientific selection, scientific training, and scientific development. If I ask what scientific selection means, then scientific selection means that people should be selected with a rigorous process of test and interviews. Scientific training involves a person should be given training of his skills based on his abilities and development involves his promotion and career development. That is the duty of each and every organization to work for the employer's, employee's development. Thank you so much.